The information provided on Dr. Tom Rosell Live by Dr. Tom Rosell DC, interview guests, show co-hosts, or substitute hosts is not intended or implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. It is for general information purposes only. Information from this broadcast should not replace the appropriate consultation and examination process by a licensed physician. Always consult your own physician prior to changing any current medical directive or prescription. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. After 38 years of practice and almost a million patient visits, the Rosell Center for Healing knows what works and knows how you can take control of your health and wellness. My team of doctors practice 21st century integrative medicine. Whether you suffer from chronic pain and fatigue, allergies or headaches, we can help. Take charge of your health before it's too late. Make an appointment today. Call 703-698-7117 or visit online at rosellcare.com. Dr. Tom Rosell live right now on 105.9 FM and AM 630 WMAL. Welcome to Dr. Tom Rosell live. This is Dr. Tom Rosell live in studio waiting to take your phone calls on anything you'd like to talk about relative to your health, but from a natural platform, you know, those things without drugs and surgery. Let's see if we can turn a little different perspective on it today, get you to a place where, you know, everything you've been doing right now hasn't been working. So how about doing something that does work and makes a difference. Call me, 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-9625. And let's talk about you today. Listen, you know what? I have a perspective. What my perspective is about is simply this. I spent three days attending a chiropractic conference in Las Vegas. Over 2,000 people were attending. And some of the most amazing research findings were put forth that in fact, over the years, were more clinical anecdotal findings. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that today. But, you know, it's really great to be with people who think like you think and love what you love and allow that beautiful picture to be painted in a way that mankind can change. What am I talking about? I want to talk to you today about what happens in the nervous system, you know, that control panel, that computer system that you have. It's called your brain, your spinal cord, all the peripheral nerves that go out, the 21 uh you know, there are the 31 nerves that come out and they divide, they go to organ systems, they go to muscles, the 12 cranial nerves that make up that, and all the interconnections. We're going to talk about that because it's fascinating, it's exciting. When I go to these conferences, I come back almost reborn in a way that I look forward to walking in the office the very next day and seeing things differently, if you will. So here's perspective. I left last night, I came back on the red eye. And the red eye was late, so I didn't get in till about so nine o'clock this morning in Baltimore, and came directly, got something to eat, and came directly to the microphone because I wanted to share all this with you. My eyes are blurry, but my head is sharp, and my heart is open, and we're going to talk about different things that you need to know about. You know, there's things that are going on around you that are keeping you from understanding how the body works, how the body is integrated in such a miraculous and beautiful way, but we suppress it. We put it away. Why? Sometimes it has to do with other agendas. And what I'm talking about is big money, money that can override virtually anything that we think that is happening. What do I mean? So let's talk about... The elimination of natural medicine, there's an effective strategy that's going on. And who we're going to point a finger at today is big oil companies. And going back, way back, even to John D. Rockefeller, the Carnegie Foundation, and so forth. You know, oil-backed schemes to mold and reshape American education system w was heavily funded by people of Rockefellers and Carnegie's and so forth. And... It was, you know, it, there was a scheme to alter the teaching of American history to provide a new form of, if you will, collectivism. It's kind of a crazy term, but nevertheless, that's what it is. And as well as a, a program of uh, culminating in the, the transformation of what medicine was and what it is today. Naturopathic based medicine, that's, you know, medicine using herbs and so forth, was the norm years and years ago. That's why you think my grandmother, you know, would give me herbs and poultices and so forth that worked far better than most of the things that are out on the, the counter today. However, Rockefeller set out to shift the medical industry towards using oil-derived pharmaceuticals. Oil-derived pharmaceuticals, right? 
to this end, Rockefeller Institute for Medical Research was established in 1901, and it was headed up by a guy by the name of Simon Flexner. Now, here's an interesting thing. There's... For those of you who have any kind of medical background, know that medicine went through a transition around 1900 because to become a doctor of any sort in those days basically was an apprenticeship program. You had a few books, you spent about a year studying stuff, and then you went and hung out with old Doc, and you followed him around, and that's how you learned to do what you needed to do. And some of these schools were paper schools only, and they had courses that that were listed that were basically fluff. And so they hired this guy by the name of Flexner, you know, Abraham Flexner, to go out and to investigate these schools. So that was the good news, right? So he was an educator who was contracted by the Carnegie Foundation to write a report on the state of American medical education. Interesting. Well, the Flexner report, along with hundreds of millions of dollars that the Carnegie and Rockefeller Foundations were pumping into things, um, basically set the standard, the format of what medicine was to about to come about in the years forward, right? So before the 1900s and into the early 1900s, medicine was about natural medicine. It was about homeopathic medicine. It was about, uh, you know, working in an environment that was supportive to your system until all of this money was starting to be pushed into research to shift it from natural to synthetic. And that's how it all began. So you have, you know, naturopathic and homeopathic medicine, medical care focused on unpatentable, uncontrollable natural remedies. See, you can't patent something that's natural. And big industry understood that. You can't do it. So now, you know, th- what they did is they set the stage for these things to be looked at as quackery and spurious and, you know, obviously less than objective, you know, and that only drug-based allopathic medicine. By the way, that's where the term came from. Allopathy is medicine, medicine, and homeopathy is natural, herbal, low-dosage alternatives, right? So there's a difference there, and it's a huge difference. So only drug-based allopathic medicine requiring very expensive medical procedures and hospital stays and so forth were then to be taken seriously. So that's where the shift began. The shift began years ago in the early 1900s. So the fortunes of the Carnegie and Morgan and Rockefellers, you know, they financed surgeries and radiation and synthetic drugs, and they were to become the economic substrates, if you will, foundations of this new medical economy. The This oligarchy, you know, birthed the entire medical industry from their own billy pulpits. They're the ones that directed and told and shown and created the philosophy, the standards of everything that we know today. So Why is that important to what I'm talking about today? Because what I want you to understand is that your body has every chemistry, everything that it'll ever need to heal itself. The problem is, is that we suppress it and we compartmentalize and we look at uh, symptoms that are often very subjective and then we drug those symptoms in oblivion so the patient's not complaining about the symptom, but meanwhile, you know, they got other things that are happening. Just remember something as I go through. The drug companies don't want you dead. They really don't. They want you into this place of an equilibrium where they can maintain you, that they can make sure that you're taking these drugs forever. And when you're talking about an industry that is hundreds of billions of dollars in annual revenues, remember I said years ago that even years ago, as recently as probably two months ago, that aspirin to Bayer accounted for $24 billion in revenues, just one company. So now you have to understand that there is a reason why there is an economic, why is that behind all this? And we're going to talk a little bit about stuff. So am I hot? Yeah. Am I a little sleepless? You bet. But nevertheless, I have to make sure that you understand where modern medicine as we know it today came from, how it was manipulated, and why you are the stooges on the platform that are being taken advantage of, all of us the same way, until you educate yourself. Remember I've said in my book, health is a do-it-yourself program. Your health is an end product of all the things that you've done up until this moment in time. 
Okay, so where you are right now is because of the decisions that you've made, the ones that you failed to do, the dietary patterns that you thought were, you know, inconvenient, allowing, you know, you your uh, Fifth Avenue uh, advertising to take hold and direct you instead of you having the common sense of doing your own research. And by the way, everything that I'm talking about today is very, very research based. I can give you line and verse. It's there for you. All you have to do is. Check it out. There was actually a very interesting article that was written recently by many of you go to Joe Mercola's website, Mercola.com, and you know he talks about all this nonsense. Um, we're going to talk about several different things. We're going to talk about the effect of neurological stimulation through manual manipulation, sometimes called a chiropractic adjustment, you know, and osteopathic manual manipulation, and the effect that it has on your nervous system and in the treatment of disease and why people who have had spinal treatment and manual care for many years rarely get sick. And when they do, it's for just a short period of time. Even in my own family, by the way, and most of you know, you know, how I've treated my family and, 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 uh, grandchildren and uh, everybody that surrounds us, they don't get sick because they've been treated from the time of birth. I had the opportunity to speak with a, a young doctor and his team of uh, over 25 people this weekend, and he, they have a passion for what they do in nutrition, in uh, natural health care, in spinal manipulation, in acupuncture, and so forth. And they're on fire. They have a message that they want to bring to you. See, if they can get you to think just a little differently and take control of your body, your birthright, that gift that was given to you at the time of your birth and the pastors that come through, then guess what happens? Big pharma doesn't win. Big oil doesn't win. The financiers behind the scenes don't get the revenue sources that they've been getting for so many years, and they want to stop that. They want to stop that. So it takes people like this young doctor and his team to be on fire, to be able to tell you the story, but to give you the information so, in fact, you can do your homework yourself. That's what this is all about. And by the way, this is what Dr. Tom Rosell Live is about and why we're here. and We've been here for so many years. And we will continue to do that and to try to bring you the truth in healthcare and making sure that you understand that you do have choices in everything that you do. And to do something other than that would be a crime. There's one other article that I want to kind of tune you into because it's kind of same focus. And we're talking about the side effects that are well known when it comes to antidepressants. And it's, you know, it's all about you have a choice. You can take a drug or you really can find out what's, uh, what you can do about it. There's a guy by the name of Robert Whitaker who wrote an amazing book, An Anatomy of an Epidemic. And he's talking about antidepressants and other psychiatric drugs that have a direct, direct contributing effect on mental illness. And it's one that you really need to check out. Um, antidepressants and anti-anxiety drugs are so common that people take them like drinking water. And matter of fact, you take drugs more than you take water these days, and there's part of the problem. So we're going to talk about that a little bit because I really want you to understand that you're being manipulated in many ways, and most of these things are perpetuating the the, the seriousness of criminality and health uh, decline throughout our country. You know, one of the things, if you if you paid attention to the the shootings that have taken place in the school systems and so forth of recent years, one thing that they have in common, every one of these kids that were killing their own friends and students were on psychotic drugs. We're going to talk more about that when we come back. We're coming up to a break. I have a lot of things I want to share with you today and also want to take your phone calls at 888-630-9625. Don't go away. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosell Live. This is Dr. Tom Rosell, author of Ageless Health. Health is a do-it-yourself program. My book, now also available in audio version, is a step-by-step -step program of how to take control of your health and wellness without drugs or needless surgery. You have the capacity to change your health and level of well-being. Take control of your health today and order Health Is a Do-It-Yourself Program. For more information and to order, please visit agelesshealthbook.com. That's agelesshealthbook.com. 
At the Roselle Center for Healing, we care about your health and want to help you take your health in a new direction, far from drugs and surgery. Knowledge is the key to optimal wellness and control of your health. We offer free health education on chronic health conditions and natural integrative medicine treatments. Attend painful foot and ankle conditions, bunions, plantar fascia, and heel spurs with Dr. Harlan Browning on Wednesday, January 27th at 7.30 p.m. Space is limited. Register today. Call 703-698-7117 or visit rosellecare.com. Welcome back, everybody. Dr. Tom Rozelle here. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rozelle live. I'm in studio waiting to take your phone calls. Call me, 888-630-9625, 888-630-9625. Love to talk to you, and I will promise to try to be alert, awake, and responsive, even though that I'm functioning in about two hours sleep and the red eye coming back from the West Coast. And But it was worth it. It was tremendously worth it. It was a great conference. 2,000 people. I presented one afternoon, and but I got to meet some very, very impressive people who had their details together on all kinds of things. I want to talk to you a little bit about the side effects of different drugs, but particularly antipsychotic and uh, antidepressants. And, you know, things like uh, Celexa and Lexapro and Prozac and Zoloft, and the list goes on. I mean, there's really hundreds of them. And, you know, when you see the actual data that's there and, you know, you actually listen to the television commercials and you hear the bottom line, you know, telling you in case of don't take this stuff or you taking any of this other drugs or if you happen to be allergic to or whatever, how do you know if you're allergic to? You know, your doctor is supposed to tell you, tell your doctor if you're allergic to. Well, I'll tell you what, he should know, she should know. I mean, you are seeing them, right? And if they don't have your health history together, then there seems to be a problem there, I would think. You know, but then what do I know? You know, but you can, we were sitting here talking during the break and we were talking about drugs that increase the risk of suicide and murder and so forth. And I was, uh, telling Jeff, who is our engineer here at the, the studio, I was saying, you know, if you go back in history and you look over the last 20 years of all the students that were killed by someone else, uh, either another student or somebody that was outside and came in and killed them, all these murderers, if you will, had one thing in common. They were all on psychotic medications of one form or the other, some of the things we just talked about. They all had that history. So doesn't that tell you something? Doesn't it tell you that perhaps there's an issue here? And then you see, you know, articles like uh, antidepressants and anxiety drugs, you know, being so common that, you know, everybody puts them on. And there was about eight years ago, 10 years ago, there was a movement to have psychological counseling done as a preliminary screening for all kids starting school beginning in kindergarten and first grade. And if there was an uh, issue that they would put them on drugs then. And it's it's horror filled when you really think about all this. But many of these drugs are highly addictive to begin with and people are on them for the rest of their life. Patients come in and say, well, I'm on, you know, the the, uh, the mood suppressor drugs, you know, uh, Ritalin and Adderall and so forth. Well, here's an interesting fact about those things, that they have the same receptors in the brain or, or the same receptors are affected by these drugs as things like cocaine. And so it makes that person more uh, potentially addictive to other drugs later on as life goes on. Many of these drugs... Uh, you know, are, are problematic and, you know, they, they can cause what they're trying to fix. And we're being told otherwise. Uh, interesting guy, a guy by the name of Ross, uh, Pelton. He's a pharmacist, uh, also, uh, certified in clinical nutrition and, and author. And he's a contributory advisor to some of the better magazines out there, including Life Extensions and, uh, you know, he's created a course and it's called Natural Therapies for Depression and Anxiety. And it's about one of the most confronting exposures that I've ever seen. I went through it. And if you want to see the course, if you want to preview it, and if you want to buy it, which is really inexpensive, uh, go to udemy.com, udemy.com, udemy.com. 
and check it out. It's one that if you have any problems with emotional disturbance in your family, if you have children that are being told that you have to put them on medication, do yourself a favor. Do this first. You know, if you know anyone that suffers from depression or anxiety, this is a course that could be really over the top and one that you need to know about. I'm telling you that don't just go on medication because these medications can cause side effects that are as severe, if not worse, than what you're taking it for. I mean, it's, it's, it's not okay. And you really need to know that. 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-9625. We're going to come up to a break in a, a short bit right now. And when we do come back, I'm going to start taking your phone calls, but I also want to talk to you about what happens when you receive a chiropractic spinal adjustment. And the question that I want you to have, does this system of treatment really stimulate health? Can it cause organ systems to work better? And is there any science behind it to prove it? I think you're going to be surprised. You're going to be amazed. So don't go away. We're going to cover that interesting study that came out by uh, Dr. Mark Studen and Dr. William Owens that really turns the light on the subject. And I said, extremely well documented and researched. One of the, the better studies that were out there. We're coming up to the break. Don't go away. Talk to you in a few minutes. Did you know that routine mammograms can increase radiation exposure to breast tissue 1,000 times over a chest X-ray? Now consider a simple, non-invasive, and totally safe medical procedure approved by the FDA since 1982 that can detect breast cancer five to eight years before it can be visualized on a mammogram. Infrared thermographic imaging can accurately detect the initial signs of breast cancer as increased blood supply and metabolic rate, which is recorded as heat. Why expose yourself to radiation when accurate and safe medical detection is available? Call the Thermography Center of Fairfax to schedule a breast exam today at 703-948-7248. That's 703-943-7248. For more information, visit www.thermographyscan.net. That's thermographyscan.net for the Thermography Center of Fairfax. The Roselle Center for Healing is a proud supporter of breast cancer awareness and reminds you to conduct a monthly breast self-examination and a thermographic breast scan as part of your annual wellness checkup. Neuromuscular dentistry is more than just teeth and gums. Temporomandibular joint disorder can be painful, and only a skilled neuromuscular dentist can diagnose and treat it. If you are in pain and suffering from TMD, call the neuromuscular dentistry experts at Soft Touch Dental Care. Learn more about TMD and how Dr. Michael Chung has successfully treated his patients. Call 703-319-6990 for a complimentary consultation or visit bestinsmile.com. That's 703-319-6990 or visit bestinsmile.com. Dr. Tom Roselle Live continues now on 105.9 FM and AM 630 WMAL. Welcome back, everybody. Dr. Tom Roselle here. You're listening to Dr. Tom Roselle Live. Indeed, I'm in studio. A little red-eyed because I took the red eye back, but nevertheless, 888-630-9625. That's how you find me. That's how you talk to me. And when I'm not here and you'd like to send me a note, go to Dr. Tom Roselle. Dot com. That's D-R-T-O-M-R-O-S-E-L-L-E dot com. Send me a note. I will get back to you. If you would like to talk to one of the doctors at the Roselle Center for Healing, all they all you have to do is call them. 703-698-7117. That's 703-698-7117. Tell the staff uh, what the message is about, and the doctor will get back to you. Perhaps you'll find them in between patients, and they'll talk to you then. My number here is 888-630-9625. In between uh, the break here, uh, I was handed a interesting flyer, and it says, you know, to the point of what we were talking about, it says, ask your doctor about Zoloft, okay, one of the antipsychotics, and uh, the uh, the actual chemical name for it is citrulline uh, hydrochloride. So it goes on to say the most common side effects include stomach upsets, having trouble sleeping, diarrhea, dry mouth, sexual side effects, feeling unusually sleepy or tired, tremor, indigestion, increased sweating, feeling agitated, decreased appetite, and suicide. All of these antipsychotics have that as one of the primary side effects. So be aware. Don't be fooled. And when you combine them with other things, the risk goes up even more. Okay, we're going to talk about the autonomic nervous system, but before we do that, Bernice, hi. 
<laughs> Bernice. Hi. Hi, what's up? Oh, I have a question about sodium. Um, you hear, you know, I, I have an elderly uh, friend, and she's like 88, and her blood pressure uh, goes up and down with uh, whatever she takes, you know, Metro or whatever those. Um, Metropolol. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. She gets, uh, she, they say switch it, and her blood pressure fluctuates between 140 to to 175, but um, and she she watches her salt, and I have always eaten salt. I mean, a couple of years ago I switched to sea salt with iodine, but I don't have blood pressure, high blood pressure, and I think I do a lot of salt, and I'm I, my blood pressure is like 115 over 70. Okay, for the reason that you don't have problems, Bernice, is simply this: is that you're using sea salt. Regular uh-huh. table salt is sodium chloride. It's an uh-huh. it's an unbound. Um, molecule, which means that it's, it's looking for something to attach to. That's why when you put salt in water with vegetables and so forth, they soften because it draws the water and, you know, it's, it it's, does the same thing to the body. So regular salt, sodium chloride, table salt is problematic. However, sea salt, because it has all the minerals, the trace minerals that you need, doesn't act the same way in the body. It's actually supportive. It's actually something that most of us need a little bit of. So if you're going to use salt, make sure that it is sea salt and do not use sodium chloride. Sodium chloride is a problem, and you get we get way too much of it, and that's causing a lot of the problems that we're seeing. But that's why you're not having a problem. But somebody who's taking sodium chloride could be potentially causing themselves some, you know, some problems like high blood pressure or uh, the heart misfiring. And by the way, somebody who has a, a misfiring heart, you know, the skipping beats, uh, uh-huh. an atrial fl- fib or, you know, uh, an increased ventricular contraction, a lot of those things, many of them can be handled by using trace minerals because the body's missing that or using uh, coenzyme Q10. Or, by the way, what we were just about to talk about is structural care. A lot of people who have had injury or have had uh, degenerative changes within their spine over a period of years where the spinal column is not moving the way it's supposed to, the automatic system, the autonomic nervous system is being affected, and one of the primary organs is the heart. So you have, the heart has three primary neurological sources. It has the vagus nerve that comes from the brain. You have the spinal nerves. They're called the parasympathetic or splanchnic nerves that come from the spine, and then you have the internal pacemakers within the heart. So uh, I'm going to talk about that automatic nervous system in a second and how it affects heart function and the circulatory system because uh, the evidence is there. Literature review on this subject is huge over the years of man, uh, history of manual manipulation, both from chiropractic and, and osteopathic nature. So uh, pay attention. But sodium chloride is not good. Sea salt is good. How does she get her blood pressure down normally? Uh, she's, she does a little sea salt. She started. I have her on it. Get her off of any kind of salt. Make sure she's drinking plenty of water. Uh, through the day, she and does a, a lot. And again, you have to look at diet. I don't know enough about her. It could be yeah. structural. It just could be that she needs to go see a good chiropractor in Arizona, and you have plenty of them. Bernice, thank you for calling. I appreciate the phone call. Triple eight six three zero nine six two five. I'm going to get into the subject. I'm going to go right back to the phones, but uh, love to take your calls on anything. I've got an interesting coming up, so we're going to. Uh, talk about that and somebody thinks that I'm condemning innocent consumers and I'm not. I'm just trying to make you aware. Let's talk about that automatic nervous system. Uh, It's part of a system that supplies everything of uh, of internal uh, modes, your internal organs, your blood vessels, your stomach, your intestinal system, kidneys, bladder, lungs, your genitals. It goes on. Now, the automatic system has two primary divisions. Okay, it has sympathetic and it has parasympathetic. Your sympathetic is what you go fight the tiger with. That's what you're going to go, you're going to go dueling with them. The parasympathetic is the one that works when you're in a state of relaxation. The problem is, is that most of us are in overdrive, particularly if we live here in the Washington metropolitan community. So you have to know how to blunt that. So when the automatic nervous system receives information about the body, both you know, the external environment it responds by stimulating different body processes, usually through, guess what, fight, flight, the sympathetic portion. And we're going to talk about that in detail. Just remember that this automatic system, when you hear autonomic, it's automatic, and it controls blood pressure. It controls your heart rhythm and body temperature and digestion and urination and your movement of waste through the body and metabolism and 
the balance of electrolytes, uh, the sodium that we were talking about it a minute ago because it's in an unbalanced situation, and the production of different fluids through your saliva, your tears, and um, you know even sweat, and also your sexual response. Your 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 that's an automatic feature in the body. Let's hold that for a second. We're going to come back to that because these are important things. Vincent, thank you for calling. Oh, you're welcome. You're so welcome. First of all, let me let let me make this perfectly clear quickly. I know you have a lot of calls. Uh, we uh, it, your information input is appreciated. It really is. It, it's appreciated. That's the one. But the thing here is, can you not someone like you and others like you, you being the top force, uh, direct this information, not the consumer information, but why is it that Zoloft is still on the, um, you know, being prescribed? Can good, you not good, attack, good, good question, but... attack the medical? Can you not do something on the medical end uh, to these doctors? Buddy, I can't. Okay, we talk about Zoloft, the effects. And that's so it. Let, let, me tell you, let, let me tell so you the why truth. Why are not these doctors... Vincent, you're, you're right on point, so let me answer your question, okay? You're right on point. We're talking about an industry that is multi-billion dollar industry, and how things get changed is by educating the consumers, so you and me and everybody else like us has to know the information, and then us as a group of society can make choices. See, supply and demand is this. If we're demanding the drug because we're being manipulated into thinking that we need that drug to fix our problems, then we're going to ask our doctors and pharmacies and industry to produce the drug for us. But if we're smart en enough and we understand what happens with these medications, then we can say, hey, no, I'm not going to do this. There's another way. And then pretty soon the demand begins to dwindle and they begin to decrease the supply. They're not stupid. This is about money. This is not about effectiveness one way or the other. You know, this is about, this is about putting dollars in people's pockets. And, you know, as I said in the beginning of the show, years ago. Dollars in people's pockets who should not be even doing this for dollars. I, I mean, for, for, for money. We know that. Listen, you're, you're preaching to the choir, my friend. You know, it's, it's one of those things that goes back years ago when they found out that they could make medications and vitamins, by the way, out of petroleum products. That's why I tell patients, don't buy anything that's not organic and natural in source. When they started realizing they can do that, do you think that they had an agenda to try to make sure that that took place? Of course they did. And so subsequently, you know, it takes crazy people like me to get out there and start talking about, not crazy. You're you know, not crazy. these are the side effects. Be aware of them. Start talking to people. Put pressure on legislators. Allow them to be the instrument of change for all of us. And, you know, that's what we have to do. And you know, I hope that helps. Because trust me, your frustration is something that I embrace on a day to day basis. And I really appreciate your phone call. Thank you very, very much. Triple eight six three zero nine six two five. We're talking about the automatic nervous system and things that happen when you abuse the system, but more importantly, can be affected and it can be be fixed straight up. The automatic system, as we said, is a, that fight flight system and all the one and also the one that allows you to rest and repair. That's your digestion system. That's the regulation of your blood pressure. That's those things. So, you know, when you're in your state of fight flight, okay, that's, you know, sympathetic override. When you're in that portion of the automatic system, blood goes where? It goes to your muscles, your blood pressure goes up, your heart beats fast, you, your eyes change so you can be much more focused. But we're doing that constantly. The body is designed to go back and forth between sympathetic reaction and parasympathetic reaction. We've got to rest, but we don't rest and we don't eat well. So our body's trying to get the poisons out. We're going into overdrive with poisons. And this whole system goes into a cascade of failure. And then subsequently, we have this reflex. Remember, if you've t listened to the program, I talked to you about organ muscle paradigms, right? The organs and the muscles are connected by many things, but primarily through the nervous system. Brain, spinal cord, the nerves divide. They go to organs, they go to muscles. So they reflex to each other. So often, muscular and mechanical presence is nothing more than a representation of what's going on inside the body. So what's that got to do with anything that we're talking about? Well, we talked about all the autonomic nervous system control pieces, and we mentioned a whole bunch of them, but many organs are controlled primarily by the uh, parasympathetic or the sympathetic system 
and there are different branches and divisions. So you got all these. And what I want, want you to understand about that is they got all these tentacles that go out, right? But again, they work together to regulate the body. They work in a, in a kind of a, you know, a balancing act. And when that doesn't uh, work the way it's supposed to, we have this reflex from the inside the body because you've been eating what? Junk. You know, you're constantly being exposed to what? Environmental pollutions. You're under a, a constant barrage of stress. Then the structural system becomes irritated. Osteopaths call it a spinal lesion. Chiropractors call it a spinal subluxation. And when the spine is subluxated, meaning it's out of its normal position, causing neurological inter uh, interference affecting the parasympathetic and sympathetic system, now you got a problem. And so the study that we were talking about that was done by Mark Student and William Owens went on to show that those people historically, we're talking about thousands and thousands and thousands of clinical observations that received manipulative modes that their their response was significant. Heart rate uh, uh, variability testing showed a shift. Hearts became more regulated. Digestive functions became more normalized. Uh, Fight-flight reactions were more controlled. Anxiety levels were better controlled. And significant finding was published uh, and released again, by the way, this last fall. So you can go out and find this article, by the way, and just go on Google chiropractic spinal adjustments, changes in organ systems and treatment of disease. And it's impressive. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that, but I don't want to, you know, ignore you. Mark, how can I help you? Thank you for calling. Um, hello, sir. Love the show. Um, I have a question. I have one kidney and I've been getting into triathlon the last 18 months and would um, I've been looking at various supplements, use protein and otherwise. I don't know if that's the best thing I should do with one kidney, but I'm looking for a better, um, a better supplement or something that wouldn't be so hard on the kidney. Okay, so let me give you a, uh, you know, first of all, you're aware that with one kidney, you gotta be real careful. You don't wanna over damage the kidney. You don't, you wanna stay away from alcohol. You wanna make sure that, you know, sugar sodas, coffee, black teas, fast food, fried foods, alcohol, gluten, GMOs, and so forth. Those things are out of your diet. You wanna eat, uh, more vegetables and you wanna keep your protein levels at a place where they're very usable. They can, they go directly uh, into system and they don't have to be filtered out. There's a product, uh, and I'm just going to let you know, I'm not recommending it for you. I want you to understand that. Okay. okay. But it's okay. one that you can find out about. It's called Perfect Amino and Perfect. it bypasses, uh, digestive and, um, and, uh, liver function and the amino acids that you need for all forms of, uh, metabolic function. The, the amino acids are readily available and it doesn't have to be compromised within the system. So it's one that I would check out very carefully. Get somebody that does the kind of work that I do or is somebody that's in functional medicine that really understands that you really should be. If you're training like that, which is a high stress level, you really should be under the care of somebody who can, uh, guide you specifically, make sure that everything's working, the nervous system and so forth. And I think you'll be fine. Okay. 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 Thank you so much. Mark, you're welcome. Thank you for listening. Boy, well, there's a, lot, a whole lot of folks out there. Let's talk to Barbara in Gaithersburg. Barbara, how are you? Good afternoon. The sun is out even though you can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I will I in wanted, about 20 minutes. I wanted, I wanted to ask about the sweeteners, uh, stevia versus agave versus honey, I guess. I don't really like the honey, which is strange. And I wondered which would have the lowest glycemic in, you know, uh, rye. Okay, so Com compared. I'm sorry. Compared to you know, not using the the uh, non sweeteners, okay. the artificial sweeteners. So let Thank me you. so let me tell you the truth about sweeteners across the board, and this is going to probably complicate things for you in your head. But um, having said that, the body recognizes anything that goes in your mouth and ta and tests or tastes sweet as something that is sweet, and it reacts the same neurologically. So your, your pancreas is going to uh, kick in. All your metabolic pathways that handle sweets are going to kick uh, kick back in. I have patients that have come into the office and they're drinking diet sodas and, they say, and they're diabetic. And I said, no, you can't do that. Well, they said, this is not sugar. My doctor said I can, but your blood sugar is still not going down, is it? They said, no, it's uh, it's being medicated and that's how I keep it under control. As long as the body perceives, your mouth perceives, the brain perceives something as being sweet, the effect is essentially the same. So what you have to look at is not only what are the 
uh, the glycemic indexes of these these different substances, but you also have to look at how the body reacts to them, and some of them are catastrophic for the system because they cause other problems. So I would say to you simply this. If you're going to use a sweetener, make sure that it is a natural sweetener. Make sure that it doesn't have anything else in it, that it hasn't been synthesized, and use very little of it. Use it sparingly so you don't get yourself in a lot of trouble. But sweet is sweet is sweet under anybody's guidelines or circumstances. It's meant to be in moderation. If you have a problem, if you're diabetic, then you have to be surprised. In a different way. We're coming up to a break. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rizal Live. Are you dental phobic? Do you neglect your dental health because of fear and anxiety? A beautiful smile begins with exceptional dental care, and you can trust in the expertise of Soft Touch Dental Care and Dr. Michael Chung. Soft Touch Dental Care is unlike any dentist office you'll ever experience. Their warm and welcoming environment is designed to soothe fears and anxiety the moment you arrive, and they're especially pleased to pamper their honored guest patients. Dr. Michael Chung is a professional and leading expert in all areas of comprehensive dentistry, including cosmetic, sedation, neuromuscular, TMJ, and implant dentistry. Offering state-of-the-art technology, Dr. Chung can give you the smile of your dreams. Arrange for a complimentary consultation today with Dr. Michael Chung and experience the expertise that makes Dr. Michael Chung so unique. Call 703-319-6990. That's 703-319-6990. Or visit bestinsmile.com. That's bestinsmile.com. 105.9 105.9 FM and AM 630 WMAL. Welcome back, everybody. Dr. Tom Rozelle here. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rozelle live as you do every Sunday at the same time. If you're on the Eastern Seaboard, it's 12 o'clock. If you were where I was yesterday, it's 9 o'clock. But we're here for you. We're bringing you the most intimate information that I can find. And we do it to make sure that you're aware, that you're educated, so you can do more homework on your own and you have the capacity to talk to your doctors and ask the right type of questions. Fan, f- fanti? Fanti. Fanti. I'm sorry. I'm looking up at the board and I just, I'm, <laughs> I, I didn't mean to butcher it. Forgive me. What no can problem. I, what, what can I help you with? with I love uh, the show. I found it by accident on my favorite uh, radio station. Well, good. Now on purpose, tell everybody else about it. Yes, indeed. I, I wanted it. to talk with you, please, about, you know, your topic grabbed me because I was on Clonopin for 25 years prescribed, and a year ago, I cold turkey dropped it. Oh, wow. So, that's, that's a drug that you don't do that easily. It's, you know, as you know, yeah, it's it was, for seizures and epilepsy. It was really rough, but um, I'm out, you know, through the tunnel now. I see the light, and it's just amazing. It, it's, it, you, you were right. A lot of the things that it was supposed to fix, it created. Yep. made them worse. Yep. But I have some residual issues that I wanted to ask you about. One is there's I never had a weight issue, and there's 25 pounds on me now, and this is a year ago. Additionally, um, there's how do you really, do you, can you recommend a treatment for dealing with breakthrough anxiety? Because now I have, I'm absolutely medication-free. Yeah, you have, to, you have to look at, when you look at the body, uh, you have to look at all the pieces. If you've heard if you've heard the program other than today, you've heard me say that there's only three things that cause anything. One is the injury to the body, to the nervous system. It can be subtle or it can be significant. The second is biochemistry, everything that's exogenous outside the body that affects the body inside, including electromagnetic fields. And the third is, a, is how we run our brains, emotional stress, and they affect five primary systems, nervous system, blood, movement of toxin through the lymph, uh, acupuncture, energetic, spinal fluid function, and so forth. So when you look at any symptom which anxiety anxiety and so forth are, you have to ask the question, why is it there to begin with? So you take a look at what's the chemistry of the body. Is it appropriate? Is the patient getting things that they're sensitive to? Uh, Is the intestinal system inflamed? The intestinal system provides 75%, some authors say up to 85% of all of your neural hormones. So if the gut's not working the way it's supposed to, you got a problem. There was a book that was written years ago. It's called Sugar Blues. And what it's about is what happens when blood sugars go crazy. The body goes into this depressive anxiety reaction. It's up and down like a, uh, like a yo-yo. And so you look at those pieces energetically, you know, from a traditional Chinese medicine point of view, there are organ systems have different emotions. Anxiety also comes from things like the spleen and pancreas and so forth. So again, you're going to blood sugar reactions in the system. It can, we're, we were starting to talk about the uh, automatic nervous system. If the structural system is 
irritated, then the organ, the target, you don't have to have pain, the organ itself isn't going to function at the level that it should. So that can produce it as well. So you look at it multidimensionally. If you look at it that way, now you can fix it. So things like uh, dietary changes, manual manipulation, fixing the intestinal tract, making sure that the gut is producing what it's meant to produce, all those things can be very useful. You know, we're coming up to a break. I would have loved to have talked about this further. Do this. Give me a call. Not be, better way to find me. Just go to drtomrosell.com. You give me a call. I may not get back to you for a week or so. But if you uh, get online and go to drtomrosell.com, send me a note, and I will tell you more specifically. But you can be helped. It's not something that you you know that you have to to live with. Particularly the residuals are there. Clonopin is one of the most dangerous of all drugs that are prescribed. You can find it anywhere, and and it simply says that. Unfortunately, we're coming up to the end of the program. I wish we had more time. I'm starting to wake up actually. My my energy is good now. I guess because I love doing this for you. I'll see you next week, same time, same place. Love you all. Bye.